fish. We appreciate you being with us tonight. Now it's a quiet but cold night. We have that breeze and we still have plenty of snow on the ground. Now, actually, I was asking our friends at the Weather Service here in Green Bay. Now, we've had snow on the ground for 77 straight days. I understand. That seems like a lot, right? Well, here's the surprising thing. They did a little research for me. Uh, that actually doesn't even make it into the top 20 as far as days straight with snow on the ground in Green Bay. We're going to need 16 more days, but here's the thing. I think we're easily going to be able to do that. That's unfortunate. Maybe the snowmobilers think that that's just great. Now, as far as tonight, looks like we're going to keep it quiet. No watches, warnings, or advisories here. But still, as we go through this upcoming week, don't be surprised if we see some more of those wind chill advisories. Yes, it is going to get that cold and that windy again. I'll get to that in a little bit for you. Now, averages 31 degrees. How nice would it be just to hit some average highs? Well, unfortunately, as we go into this upcoming week, we're not even going to hit the average lows for highs. All right, I'll get to that in a little bit for you. High temperatures today, we made it right around 20. Just a little bit cooler air for tomorrow. There's Minneapolis with 17. So it's like day after day, just a little bit cooler. And that's going to be the case as we go through this upcoming week. Temperatures now, these aren't that bad. It's 20, Green Bay, Shawano, 22 in Manitowoc. But still, that is colder than average. Remember, we have a bit of a breeze out there keeping those wind chills down. Wind chills dropping below zero late tonight. Satellite and radar, we are quiet. Just a few clouds passing on by, but not going to hurt your night by any means. This front kind of stalled, and the warmer air to the south of it, we're just stuck in the cold. One of those cold Arctic high pressures are in charge for us. That means quiet weather, but again, it means cold weather, and unfortunately, we keep around that breeze for days upon days as well. So the Arctic air is going to be here. We're going to watch a weak disturbance roll to our south and a weak front moving on through as we head into Monday night. That could bring us a couple of flurries, maybe a snow shower. If there would be accumulation, it would be very, very light. But I think the chances of accumulation, very small. So here's a look at precision cast going through the night. Get used to this. Breezy and cold. Cold and breezy. That's going to be day after day after day. So we have this weak little front that's going to be passing on through on Monday night. Again, it looks like most of precip to our south and west. Around here, again, could see a couple flurries, maybe a snow shower, nothing major. And behind that front, more cold weather and more of that wind as well. So the rest of our night, cold and breezy. Once again, 2 degrees for our low, clear to partly cloudy skies. For your Monday, 16 degrees, increasing clouds. Cold and breezy, get used to that. As far as Monday night, uh, 4 degrees, a chance of a couple flurries, maybe a little bit of light snow. Again, nothing major, if anything, at all. And Tuesday, decrease in clouds. Cold and breezy. Imagine that. 14 degrees. You think that's cold? Hold on a second. Look at the next 10 days. Wednesday, single digits for highs. Same with Thursday. Look at all the below zero temperatures on this map, Cassandra. It looks like we are going to break the record for below zero temperatures the way things are going right now. And none of these temperatures on the 10-day are above average. It's going to be a cold week once again.